Hey Cancer, how's it going? It's Robin here. Welcome to Aries Fire Tarot. Super excited to do this reading for you guys. This is going to be your bonus reading for September 2021. And I'm using the Good Tarot and I'm going to be using a Spirit Guide spread. Okay, so this is going to be seeing who is available for you amongst your ancestors and your guides that is specifically assigning themselves to you right now in this part of your life so that they can walk it with you and help you out. Um, you guys have just been like you've literally been like on fire. Well, figuratively, I guess. So like I've just been so pumped to do your readings. I always am, but like extra like, wow, what's going on for cancer? So hope you guys enjoy. Remember to comment and like, share and subscribe. I'm just going to give the deck a quick little um, clear there. This is going to be a general reading, so I do hope it resonates. Um, yeah, and let's just push on into your reading. I was just looking at the last couple titles because I have a journal here that I keep all my video titles in. Last one, your mid-month was set your world on fire and cancer it was like, where's your crown king cancer? And like that was really powerful. You know, it's like you guys can see your crown, but does everybody else see it? So I'm going to pull a card here for this reading, um, a card to represent your guide right now. Wow. So we have the high priestess. I'm getting, okay, I'm going to show you guys the card here. So this is the high priestess. But I also need to focus on her too, because I'm getting like a really... I'm getting a time period. I'm actually seeing the words like, and the number 600, 600, 600. So I would assume that to be about 600 years ago. Okay, so depending on where you live in the world, your family might not have lived in that same country. Okay, there's a lot of immigration going on. Uh, like for me, I'm, I'm third generation in Canada, right? My, my, um, my family came from Ireland. So if you want to try to think about that and where did, how many generations back would that be? If you want to ballpark it like six to eight generations, Like, and think about that. You're great, 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 great. Mm, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> um, like, where were they? Where were they living? So I'm seeing that this is going to be um, a female that was probably like a medicine woman or something along those lines. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know what's going on here today. I'm seeing the words like ostracized a little bit. You know, she could have been a clairvoyant. Um, and you know what it was like, like people were super archaic, like they were destroying people that were a little bit different that showed their psychic powers their healing abilities so there's somebody like that in your lineage <clears throat> and i'm getting the feeling that the, right now they want to transmit that gift to you fascinating okay so high priestess very cool let me just clear my throat. This is getting ridiculous, you guys. Hold on. Sorry. Yikes. Okay, so a message from your guide. Okay, and what I was getting from the High Priestess card over here is that they're trying to radiate through these six to eight generations. And they're like, oh, okay, well, you seem to be becoming very, very magical. You know, you seem to be becoming incredibly powerful. And gifts like that, they're like they're not genetic. They're not in your DNA. They can be taught from one generation and enhanced. Um, see, let's see this message, okay? 
So you've got the two of water. There's somebody already very close to you that could, they probably already have some sort of a practice going on. Maybe they're a tarot card reader. Maybe they work with crystals. You know, maybe they're a healer or a psychic or they work with energy. I'm getting the sense that there's almost somebody that is kind of like a prophet around you. And you guys are getting closer and closer together. You can see that the two fish in these cards, this card, they're together, but they're not really, they haven't met yet. So it's like the high priestess, your ancestor, she's going to arrange this meeting for you. <clears throat> I'm seeing here that this person's ancestor was connected to your ancestor. So you might want to start asking questions like that, especially if you meet somebody and they're like super groovy and laid back and maybe they've got like a crystal pendant or like wearing... I don't know, whatever that might tip you off, that this is somebody that is a bit more free-flowing. You know, they're not really constrained by the matrix. So there's some sort of, like, union coming up, a friendship, but this is going to be somebody that is going to help you tap into these powers that we see rising in you. So imagine you... <clears throat> with a little bit of magic. Imagine you with a little bit of clairvoyance, psychic ability, healing ability, empath abilities. You could start to understand the language of animals. This could take you on a turn. You know, your current career path could change, you know, especially if you tap into this ability for healing. Maybe you could be like a practitioner of medicine in some sort or if you awaken like the, the animal type of empath this where you actually can hear them speak to you, you might want to turn into a veterinarian. So it's like this very important pivot point in your life is about to happen. And it's like this high priestess ancestor is going to have a hand in this meeting of you with somebody that is, they're already aware. It's like this was already taught through their bloodline. Like there was nothing that was ever covered up. Whereas opposed to your high priestess ancestor was ostracized and it was kept a secret. Okay, so that secret is about to be uncovered. I'm going to write that down. Hold on. So anyway, I think your reading is pretty cool so far. Um, your next card is something your guide has been trying to get you to hear, okay? Um, <laughs> look at this. So powerful, okay? I have seen you guys aligned with a Leo for a long time. How many of you know like a friend that is a Leo or you have a romantic partner that is a Leo? Um, this is somebody that knows exactly who they are and they don't give, they don't care what anybody thinks about them. They're like, they have risen in their true power. Okay, so your guide has been directing you to this person the entire time. The next card, oh, interesting. How to be more receptive to messages in the future. Okay, so you need a little bit more alone time. You guys could be, because I see you guys as being very generous and helping your communities and basically kind of overextending yourself to some degree. You need to spend a little bit more time on your own. This particular hermit card 
it is surrounded with keys, okay? So it's like the key to your future is almost like behind closed doors in that meditative state, in that tapping into like maybe do an ancestor meditation if you can. I get the feeling that you guys could already know this emperor character that is coming in to help you figure out who this high priestess is and tap into her energy a little bit more. And the emperor helps to plan your future. Really, really interesting. Really interesting. So it's like you could not even be paying attention to this person or you're maybe not listening to some things that they have to say because you think, well, that's weird. <laughs> what? You know? But the message that is coming through here from your high priestess ancestor, you're not spending enough time alone with the hermit card to be able to hear it. So what is your guide helping you with right now? And I love this so much because we have seen where you have evolved out of this period of time where like it was almost like a depression and a, like a a sense of obligation to help out other people even though they could have helped out themselves. So you have the laughing Buddha here that is just really enjoying your life. And that has definitely got everything to do with this Leo coming in and the high priestess. Like something massive is about to happen for you guys. Like if you have a really weird friend, I, I, I mean that in a really positive way. Like people think I'm weird because I'm a tarot card reader, right? But do you know what I mean? They're just, they're freer than everybody else. And they might light candles all over the place. They might have an altar. They might have like a massive crystal collection. They could be really close to their companion animal and call it a familiar, you know? So there are really tiny clues along the way. And if you don't know this person already, your high priestess ancestor is going to arrange that meeting. So be very open to it. And this is where the meditation and taking time to yourself it needs to happen so that you can open the door when it presents itself to you. Whew. Okay, that's all I'm getting from my guides, you guys. So, wow. All right. <laughs> Take care.